Have you guys ever wondered why the black men that like Trump actually like Trump? It's impossible to survive in America when you have to go to live through all these regulations, but they don't. And so they own 87% of all the business in America while the white man and the black man are broke, just like in Russia. Of course you want taxes high. Why would you want taxes high? Because you don't pay taxes, Hillary. You and, 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 and Bill Clinton. Bill Clinton's a full-blooded Cherokee. They don't have to go through all that. So of course they want taxes high. So you can't compete with them. So that's why I love Trump, because he's letting the real white man and the real black man get some money. Give me liberty or give you death. How did you... But first, let's give it up to the Democrats. You have to take your hat off to them because the Democrats know how to protect their strong and independent women. They take them and they turn them into men. And they're indiscriminate too because if you're a weak man, they will take you and make you into a strong woman. You see, the Democrats have this biology thing down too. It's almost like a scene from the $6 million man. We can take it. We can rebuild it. We can make it faster. And we can make it stronger. And when they get through with it, it's like, get your ass up out of here and put your brand new trans testicles to use. And go on out there in the world and make something of yourself. Like LED genitals. Good luck. First, let's talk about why the young black male likes Trump. The age of this group is age 18 to 34. This group includes the college educated, the non-college educated but working, and the street dude. It was amazing to me to hear that the street dude liked Trump. The street dude says, President Trump fed the hood. Everybody had money. Meaning that President Trump gave them opportunity and jobs. The young street dude also says that Trump keeps it gangster. None of that political double talk. You know, this is the first time that we've ever had a president that if somebody says to him, hey, President Trump, fuck you. Now, we all know exactly what President Trump would say back. A loud and resounding, fuck you too. Trump's Future Act gave $85 million indefinitely to STEM. STEM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Math. Trump increased all Pell Grant funding. He appointed HBCU leaders to primary roles like Education Secretary, Bessie DeVos. Over the past 30 years, there's been a full frontal assault on the traditional American man. And it feels like full emasculation. But the 35 to 55 year old black male feel that it's masculine to simply like Trump. They feel that President Trump is a man's man. They feel that society today has a strong feminine slant. To them, President Trump strongly supports the traditional American family. The black male has been the biggest victim of the feminine slant in America. And they are hoping that Trump will give them their families back. LBJ's war on poverty, Equal opportunity employment and welfare essentially gave the man's family to the black woman. And this experiment has failed drastically. Just look at the young black male today. With no male in the house, we have pill discipline, high dropout rates, high crime rates. Our young men are socially awkward in a real bad way and totally reject male authority. Black men aged 35 to 55 feel strongly that Trump will restore them to prominence. Trump is strong on crime, which pushes them to be more active in their communities. Trump is also prominent in their culture. The most mentioned white man ever in black songs, rap music, and R&B. Trump's claims of fake news resonates with a black male aged 35 to 55. He feels that the media does not accurately represent his political views. They put him in another group solely based on his race. With Trump, if he is religious, 
he feels more proud to be a religious, conservative black man. And lastly, he had a lot more money when Trump was president. Here are a few reasons why the retirement age of black men like Trump. The really older black men come from hard times. I remember my dad telling me that the first time he ate an orange and a banana, he ate the whole thing, whole seeds and all. My dad said that when they made hot dogs, they even saved the juice. So they are worried about their retirement and social security money running out. They like that Trump secures the border. They feel that the money spent on illegals can be spent on the white, black, and brown Americans right here. They know that the black community is the first community to be displaced by the illegals. They like that Trump puts America first. He puts America's problems before the world's problems. They like the way that Trump rolled out the red carpet for the American veterans, because a lot of them are veterans too. And lastly, they like Trump because they have lived through so many crooked politicians. And here's a politician that doesn't need the money. Trump can truly govern for the people.